we just got one of the most important chapters in JJK as we got a huge reveal surrounding Yuji's parents, and this chapter showed us how Kenjaku is shaping up to be a pretty great antagonist. But before we dive into this chapter review, as always guys, I would kindly appreciate it if you can drop a like on the video as that would help me out a ton, and consider subscribing to the channel for some more awesome Jujutsu Kaisen manga videos appearing in your sub feed. With all that out of the way, let's get back back to the video. Alright, so this chapter starts off with Kenjaku apologizing to Sasaki, the girl from the very first chapter, and we see her awaking Kenjaku in like an all black room. Apparently she's in a void between a dream and reality. They call it the cursed realm. As she awakes, Kenjaku explains to her about the culling game and how the area she's in is going to be used for a deathmatch. Kenjaku goes on to say that creating this barrier, making it become a deathmatch was a very hard thing to do and the lengths that he's gone through, you know, he doesn't want to place any unreasonable conditions like forcing people to participate in the culling game when they were already inside the barrier. So he asks Sasaki and everyone who was already in the colony when the barrier was created if they want to participate in the culling game or not. Sasaki chooses to decline and Kenjaku takes her outside of the barrier. I really like this interaction with Kenjaku, very devious and this panel especially, it reminds me of Monster when Johan was like, have a drink. And you guys know that I love Monster and I love Johan so the moment I saw that, I just just reminded me of monster so I don't know um, yeah this double spread too of what it looks like inside of the barrier as Kenjaku is walking Sasaki out of it and yeah I mean like what the F like look at all these giant cursed spirits and pterodactyls the culling game is looking like a war zone out there very wild and dangerous it seems like but the big reveal comes after as Kenjaku says oh yeah I forgot to tell you Thank you for getting along with my son. And Sasaki, when she leaves the barrier, wakes up and finds Iguchi, the other member of the occult research club who we also saw in the first chapter. Sasaki realizes that Kenjaku, when he mentioned his son, he was referring to Yuji Itadori, and oh my goodness, this pretty much confirms the theory of Kenjaku being Yuji's parent. If you'd like to know more on how this is possible and how it connects with Sukuna, Kenjaku's plan from the very beginning, and why it makes sense with Chozo's memories, then be sure to watch my theory video I made a couple days ago as it talks about all the evidence and clues from the past of Yuji being blood related to Kenjaku, as this chapter pretty much confirms it. I also like how we see Iguchi and Sasaki again. Like when I was re-watching the Jujutsu Kaisen anime, I remember thinking to myself, I wonder if we're ever gonna see the club members again, the occult research club members, and I'm glad that we do. Like it's a very nice feeling that Akutami didn't leave those guys out, and I hope Itadori one day he can meet them again and just see how far he's grown, you know, from being this ghost busting member to an actual spirit exerciser. And yeah, when she gets gets out of the barrier, it appears that everyone around her also experienced the same thing with Kenjaku. So I think everyone that was already inside the barrier is being asked simultaneously if they want to participate in this deathmatch or not, and I'm glad that both Iguchi and Sasaki decided to stay out of it, but it appears that Sasaki was the only one who got the personal message from Kenjaku thanking her for being friends with Yuji. And to to see what the colony or barrier looks like, I mean, yeah, it's huge. From the outside, it looks like a big black circular barrier pretty much. This colony is in Sendai, which is both Yuji and Yuta's hometown. Plus, this is in the Miyagi prefecture, and remember, Yuta was said to be inside this colony, so yeah, Yuta should be somewhere inside that black barrier, and if Kenjaku is there, then they could run into each other and maybe fight? I'm pretty sure most of the community predicts that Yuta and Kenjaku 
Senjaku are definitely gonna fight sometime in this arc, so uh, yeah, it could be, you know, them being in the same colony. The next panel cuts back to Itadori and his group, and they're looking at the Culling Game player list, and they don't see Angel on here. Angel, obviously the one who can free Gojo with her curse technique, uh, but yeah, they can't find her on the list, and it's probably because her nickname is Angel, and it's not her real name, although I'm wondering if Hana Caruso is also used as a pen name, because I thought that that was her real name, but I guess not, since the crew can't find her name on the list, but mo yeah, moving on, they decide to split into teams. Panda and Hakari will go into Tokyo Colony number 2, as where Yuji and Megumi will go into Tokyo Colony number 1. As much as I'd love to see Kiara in the Culling Games, unfortunately, Kirara will actually be left behind to observe and scout the outside since one person is in need of doing that. So uh, yeah, as the teams are set, we see Itadori being like, oh, man, I can't be with Megumi because Sukuna is interested in him, you know, what if? And Megumi's like, ah, oh, shut up, Itadori. Stop being selfish. And, you know, they have this fight again. Uh, I don't know. It's always nice to see this duo chemistry because they're so different, but that doesn't mean that they also can't work together. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's now November 12th, which means seven days left till Sumiki's vow to participate in the Cullen game, and we see a panel of two colonies. One of them, Yuji and Megumi will go into, and the other, Panda and Hakari. And I love these panels of our boys getting ready to battle. Like, I'm getting Avengers Endgame or Infinity War vibes from this. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, take a look at this. Hakari is wearing his Jujutsu Kaisen uniform. Pretty dope, but yeah, the chapter ends there, and oh baby, the culling game is here, like it's officially here, shit just got real, and we got a look of the colonies, our boys ready to enter, and Kenjaku taking people in and out of the barriers, like with the drop of mentioning Itadori being his son, like I can just feel we're so close to learning Yuji's past, I mean we kind of already know it at this point, but I think in the culling game arc we'll definitely get like a panel or just a chapter of everything explained with Yuji, but but uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that Kinjaku definitely made Yuji Itadori, and it makes sense with Chozo's memories and why Yuji was considered a culling game player to begin with and a Sukuna's contract a thousand years ago. Like, everything does make sense. And again, if you're still confused on that, you can watch the video or a theory I did a couple days ago to further explain that. But yeah, I'm curious to see if Maki will join. I mean, I know she would, but I would like to see a panel of her moving into a colony because I heard people say that because she's got no cursed energy, she might not be able to enter, but I don't think that's a restriction at all, you know, since heavenly restriction is rare. I'm sure she can just enter and just be worryless since she'll never have to worry about getting a cursed technique removed, but yeah, still no sign of our other students. Like you would think before the Cullen game would start, we might see the status of Inumaki, Todo, Miwa, the Kyoto Norotoshi, maybe even Nobara, but none of them we really saw after the Shibuya incident arc other than Momo. So yeah, I don't know if we'll ever get to see them in the Cullen game. I honestly wouldn't think so. I mean, it's possible for Nobara to return sometime in this arc, um, but I can't really say the same for others. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this chapter. You know, did you like it? Did you dislike it? I'd love to hear your thoughts as I do read the comment section. And the preview for the next chapter says, Chapter 161, Crossing Over to the Ocean of Curses. Let the games begin. Oh, I'm, again, I'm just so hyped for this arc. And, uh... Yeah, that's all for the review today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It's been the fake weeb, and I'm out. Peace.